Welcome to episode two of our walk from Saria to Santiago. In this episode, we'll be walking from Saria to Puerto Marin. Our day started in Samos. We have been staying at Casa Otero. That's Berta, one of the proprietors with us in the picture. We had a great stay and we highly recommend Casa Otero. From Samos, we took a 10 minute taxi ride to Saria's old town and we officially started our walk on the Camino. So today we're starting from Saria and going to Porto Marin. And it's a beautiful day. Saria is on the Camino Frances and it's a most popular starting point for pilgrims because it's 112 kilometers from Santiago. To receive your Compostela, which is a certificate of completion, you must walk the last 100 kilometers on one of the many Caminos to Santiago, and you must have your pilgrim's passport stamped at least twice a day along your route. In 2018, I walked parts of the Camino twice, in June and in October, and in October of that year, I received my Compostela. Then, in 2019, my wife Lori and I walked the Kamano Kodo Pilgrimage Trail in Japan. And because I completed both pilgrimages, I was awarded a dual pilgrim certificate. This is Lori's first time on the Camino. Since she completed the Kamano Kodo in 2019, she'll qualify to receive her Compostela and her dual pilgrim certificate when we reach Santiago. We made a short stop to pick up a scallop shell to attach to our backpacks. The shell identifies you as a pilgrim on your way to Santiago. Our walk to Santiago was during Easter week, and many Spaniards take the opportunity to walk the Camino at this time. Regardless, the stretch from Saria to Santiago is known to be very crowded with pilgrims from early April to late October. To avoid the crowds, we chose to start late. Many pilgrims start very early and race to their next destination in order to secure a spot in an albergue which are dormitory style accommodations. Our strategy paid off and as you can see from this video, we were able to enjoy a quiet and peaceful walk. Go, it's filming. It's filming. I wanted to get you walking across. It's filming, yeah.
you can see. <laughs> Well, what do you think so far? I don't remember going this far uphill. Yeah, you told me there were no hills. <laughs> so, truth be told, it's uphill. Not too bad, but it's definitely uphill. <laughs> I don't remember this whatsoever. I must have been asleep. <laughs> I kind of knew it. I kind of knew there were going to be hills, even though you said there weren't. But it's a beautiful day. There's a breeze. And yeah. yeah, it's just really beautiful. You can tell spring is coming. I walked this same route in October 2018, and the video I made of that walk is approaching 40,000 views on YouTube. I really didn't remember the uphills on this first stage from Saria, and it seemed like we were going uphill for most of the day. Although we weren't in a hurry, we rarely stopped to eat anything, and we didn't drink enough water. This really wore us down by the end of the day. Make sure you don't make the same mistake. This is one of the most famous markers on the Camino. It shows that we are 100 kilometers from Santiago. For us on our first day, it had little meaning. But for pilgrims hiking the entire French way, it shows they're nearing the end of their walk. They've already walked over 400 miles to reach this point.
Coming up on Puerto Marin now. Um, but that's what I've been seeing for the last hour. Yep. <laughs> there's Puerto Marin where we're headed, and if you see in the center, there's a church. It used to be in the valley that we're going to cross over, but what they did was they flooded the valley for the Nino Reservoir and they moved the church brick by brick up to where it is today. In the 1960s, the Mino River was dammed to create the Belazar Reservoir, putting the old village of Port Marin underwater. The most historic buildings of the town were moved brick by brick and reconstructed in the new town up on the hill, including its castle-style church of San Juan of Puerto Marin. When the reservoir is at a low level, the remains of ancient buildings, the waterfront, and the old bridge are visible. This is the end of a long day. And don't think that it's easy just because we're walking 100K. This, this was hard. And we trained for it. But we're tired. We cross the high bridge over the reservoir and then up the famous steps to enter the town. I'd play the Rocky theme for this clip, but it would lead to a copyright infringement warning on YouTube. So please hum the Rocky theme instead. We stopped at the Puerto Marin sign for a quick picture and then walked up another hill to the main square. Puerto Marin was in a party atmosphere and we celebrated with Aperol spritzers. We then took taxis to our hotels. Lydia and Doug had reservations at a different hotel than us and we agreed to meet at the Puerto Marin sign the next morning to continue our walk. We arrived at Hotel Astorres da Hermida at about 7.30. This 300-year-old converted manor house is located in Monte Rosso and we stayed there for two nights, shuttling back and forth between Camino stages. Astoris da Hermida is an excellent hotel with comfortable rooms, a nice restaurant, and very professional staff. We had dinner and then collapsed in bed, reflecting on our long day. Episode 3, our next video in this series, documents our walk from Port Marin to Palace de Rey. Thanks for watching. Please click your like button and consider subscribing. Buen Camino.